hello there internet this video is about a little issue that i have with this race star f4s uh, all-in-one flight controller and esc's all in all it's it's pretty good board uh, it looks decent uh, pretty good quality there are plenty of reviews i'm not gonna do it uh, now i'm just going to show you what happened uh, during my work on uh, waterproof build based on our Armaton Chameleon frame and Mr. Steel Silk motors. I just started to kind of pre-teen all my uh, connector pads, uh, all the peripherals here, uh, video and receiver, power uh, here, and I added a capacitor through those uh, two little holes here. So as you can see I just pre-tinned uh, kind of plus and minus and when I was working on the minus on the minus wire my USB connector came loose so it used to live in here yeah like so something like that yeah so Basically, the amount of heat that goes through uh, one wire was enough to melt all the solder. It's actually not enough. Well, it doesn't look like there was enough of solder uh, to hold the connector in place uh, in here. But all the well, the, the heat that went through that pad and pre-tinning of this pad was enough to melt all the solder and this guy, uh, and it just came loose. Uh, it just fell down on me. Um, oh well, I don't know. Maybe maybe I I pulled it. Maybe I f f f kind of moved it away one way or another. Um, uh, I don't know. But the worst worst thing that it actually happened that it actually took one of the soldering pads with it. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Oh, you can. But like one of the yeah one of the pads here actually thicker so that's where it came loose uh, so I cannot use this board anymore uh, basically yeah just something to kind of watch out when uh, when you pre teening uh, when you're working on this board in particular just give it give it enough time to cool uh, after each um, after each pad what you do uh, kind of once you pre tin uh, the battery plus kind of give it enough time to cool down then solder um, solder on the wire well I don't know I maybe do it do it, do it once uh, one step at a time and give it enough time to co completely cool down and stay away from uh, from touching the USB connector um, just it's uh, it's kind of I don't know I, I would call it a, a bad design to to put the USB connector next to an area that will take huge amount of heat from uh, from soldering the wires. Okay, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, happy flying.